Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 23, I think it's 23, of uh, my Rugby League Team Manager 2015 playthrough with the Canberra Raiders. This is the lineup we're going with to take on the Manly Seagulls, Sean Fenton. Uh, he's come into the side up to 90 fitness, um, and dropping off the bench is Kurt Baptiste. But just, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but we just don't really have uh, the, you know, Josh Hodgson's doing a great job, we don't have the need for him at this stage. Disappointing news, Lola here is back from injury, although his rating has dropped a lot. Like, he's down into, like, the mid-60s, where he was up to the mid-70s beforehand. We will probably go ahead and um, drop into the reserve grade squad for a little while, because I've seen how well that's worked with Cornish, and uh, we don't want to lose Lola here altogether. He's a pretty valuable player. Can use him in the long run, but I think Sam Weems is our man uh, for the time being. You know, let's go ahead and play the match. I'm feeling pretty confident about this game. Although they have a great side. A really, really, really good side. Peter Hickey on the bench. Not really sure what's to go there, but whatever. Let's encourage them. 3D view. Gutherson at fullback. Um, so no Brett Stewart. Must be injured or something. So that's uh, interesting. Match speeds. So we're going to be kicking off first. And it uh, looks like we've got we've got a penalty. And I oh know we've got a clean pair of heels. Looks like it. I think. So we got the faster backs, which I'd say would be pretty accurate. Going across field for him. Good tackle on Tom Simons. Cherry Evans inside ball to 11. Justin Horro, fourth tackle. Quorn wrap around with Ballon. They got Williams up the wing here. Jack White makes a big tackle. All right, that's from inside the 40. No 40-20 though. Jack White goes back and collects. So we're just going to run it out in the forwards here. Hopefully our forwards can just... Oh, here we go. Penalty. Hopefully our forwards can just roll Manly. I mean, let's be honest. Manly forwards aren't that impressive to me. Um, maybe we have got a penalty in that up our sleeve. I'll take a look here. Oh, Willie Mason's been sent off. Holy shit. Okay, so we got the penalties. Okay, they got the faster... Oh, that, sorry, they got the better halves. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, we get another penalty. We're kicking for touch. We ain't taking the penalty goal. Get that shit out of here. Ooh, drive and tackle there. So we're going to have the numbers all game. We should be winning this one pretty comfortably. Use the winger. You have used him. Oh, that's a phenomenal tackle there. Is that Gutherson? Holy shit. What a tackle. Okay. So we're just going to the sweeping play. Should have the numbers out here, I would think. Oh, no. You were through the gap. Oh. Oh, I don't have enough time. That would have been a great time to do that one. Inside ball, good tackle on uh, number three, Jamie Lyon. Big tackle there on Gutherson, as it should be. There's a little gap opening up. 13's through. Four and... Oh, I guess another pass away. Damn, they're going to score. Berryman. Berryman, man. We're going to do a, a call straight away, I think. Also, Vaughn, a bit tired. Let's get Casiato on for Paul Vaughn. I should have used that scrum play, it would have been a try. They missed the goal though, so that's alright. Shillington also a little bit tired. I thought there's going to be nothing on what Manly's going to be by the end of the game. Let's put it that way. It's mad dog it. Oh, they dropped the ball straight up. Knock on. Josh Starling, huge tackle there. Perfect timing too. Got the wraparound, Joseph Paulo. Seth Paulo makes it to the line. Good work. Good work. Perfect timing. Great stuff there. Uh, Shillington. Do we, we'll put on Shannon Boyd for Shillington. Give him a bit of a rest. Been 24 minutes. Good good, uh, good minutes there by uh, Shilo. So 6-4 it is. They're putting on their subs as well. They're going to need it. Willie Mason, the big idiot. Getting uh, sent off. Not just him in. He got sent off. Okay. 
couldn't really get anywhere. We have got a penalty up our sleeve, which we could use. Should be uh, nice. Hit the, oh, you had the gap there, too. Oh, shit, I didn't use it in time. Wow, that's a terrible set. Terrible set. I will back us to defend here, I think. We'll save the calls for the second half if we need it. I think that's what we should do. They're probably going to have this set. And if we can hold them out, we've got one set of our own, probably. Well, I think we need to just roll them in the forwards, because it's not working. Oh, Matt Balance straight around them. Can't get it offload away, thank God for that. That was poor defence. Very poor defence. Cherry Evans, inside ball. Back through the middle there. Come on, make the tackle. White and makes the tackle. Big tackle. Berryman spills the ball. We've got a chance here. Paulo. We've got the, the clean heels up our sleeve as well. Why did you pass it? Anyways, Black Austin is going to score. Straight under the post. There we have it. 10-4. 10-4. Excellent stuff there. Paulo, a little bit tired. We'll put on Sean Phantom for a little bit. Give Phantom just a bit of a run. Um, make a few tackles and all that sort of stuff. Bryce Cartwright, he can come on for Papali. Also, because it just rounds it out to the end of the half too. And we're going to be starting off with the ball this time, which is good. So, but we're not going to get to play um, any more football in the first half, is what I was trying to say. So we're just looking at the fitness of many players, all in the 70s. Horror hasn't been off, I don't think. Matt Ballon looking a bit tired. I think we're looking pretty good for this game, so I'm uh, feeling alright about this one. I'm pretty sure Brett Stewart's still at the club. I mean, he might have left, I don't know. I hope not, but... Here we go. Start of the second half. Went the short side there. Inside ball. Is that Fenton? No, it was Harris. We'll use the penalty here. We'll get up there and hopefully we can uh, work well. Come on, Croker. Passes. Come on, Jordan Kahu. Jordan Kahu is going to score, and then straight after that, we're going to get a, uh, a penalty. So that's excellent stuff there. Wow, excellent work. Shifting the ball early on. We know they've got a man down. Those sort of backline plays where we're just trying to look for the numbers, they should work quite well. Come on, Croker. He misses it. Once again, Jared Croker. Goal kicking, not up scratch, but whatever. That's just how it is. They don't kick too many from the sideline, I think. To kick off, we should get a penalty here. Or the next tackle, it should be, actually. Oh, straight. Oh, not. We're not getting a penalty. What the hell? Oh, no, there we go. An off the ball incident. Okay, excellent work, excellent work. Could be another flogging coming up here. Alright, just setting up in the middle so we can go either side. Take it to one side here, Josh Hodson it was. Now we got a backline player coming here. Oh, we dropped the ball. Uh, we're going to do this scrum play turnover thing. We should get the ball back. There we go. Sean Fenton, dragging them, Sean Fenton, scores, oh my god, Sean Fenton, what a play by Sean Fenton there, excellent work, we'll put on Shillington and, you know, all those chaps, put Shillington on for Boyd, Papali on for, nah, we'll leave that for now, give these guys a bit of a run out, let them get up a little bit of form here. It's a nice little run there. Cartwright dragging a few people. Now our subs coming on. So nice having those team calls. I really think we've got the right ones. Play mag shut down, that sort of stuff. I think that's a very, very valuable one there. Sean Fenton dragging a few players here. Oh, they go the short side. Wow, what were you doing? So we're going to do a play mag shut down straight after this. It's a nice little kick there. Right, here we go. Play make shut down. There's some mad sirens going off here. Oh, and they dropped the ball. Good stuff. Sean Fenton. Can he score another try in his return game? I will admit I'm not a huge fan of Sean Fenton on here, but he's doing a good job. 
Come on. There we have it. 26 to 4. Another annihilation coming on, I would have to say. Even when we went down, I was never really too concerned because obviously they had the send off, but I was pretty confident we were going to pick up the victory either way. Just the form that we have, just incredible. We will put on Joseph Borlo for Phantom. We will put on Josh Parley for Torhu Harris. Paul Vaughan can come on for Cassiano. Oh, we dropped the ball. Damn. Have we got turnover thing? No, we don't. Defensive rally. So we shouldn't drop the ball here. Jo Joseph Paulo, who just came on for Fensum, spilled it. Inside ball. Wow, I've got a defensive rally on. We're missing tackles. Wow, drag down. That scramble. That scramble, man. Should have the numbers here. And they do. Straight through. 28 to 8. Mad Eye. Keep to come. They're not going to be winning the game, but it's going to be a little bit of a different scoreline. Too bad we couldn't use the, the engine room overdrive, but not to worry. We didn't really need to. Our four has just been smashing everybody. And I think we've got our rotations right, I would like to think. I think our, our bench is actually quite strong. Um, I mean, we still got Noah Sala and stuff who... I'll probably drop Noah Sala into the reserve grade side as well, just try and get him back up the... Back up the scratch to be honest, because his rating's gone down quite a lot. But yeah, we still got Nua Sala, who can come on and play prop for us, or lock, or off the bench, wherever we want to play him. Um, it's up for us to decide, really. He's very versatile. Well, he's not really that versatile, but I think you understand what I meant. He can play prop or lock, so it's all good. Okay, let's just do one out stuff. Nothing dumb. Short side. That was good stuff there by Sammy Williams. So let's just run on the last if we get to. Alright, one last play here. And that's it. 28 to 8 is how it's going to end. Willie Mason can, could argue that he lost the game for them. Especially considering they were carrying two backs on the bench. That was a bit of a dumb move from my Willie to get sent off like that. But this is great coaching by myself, I'd have to say. Sean Fenton, man of the match. Shillington and Kahu. Uh, in second and third. So good stuff there. Down oh, let's look at the ladder. Where are we now? Two, three, four, five, six. We're in seventh spot. Eels have dropped his place. So uh, we're clawing our way up the ladder here. We're looking pretty good to make the eight. We'll put it that way. Manly. Uh, if we'd lost to them, maybe we would have dropped out. Would we? We were on. We would have been level. We would have been level. No, we wouldn't. Yeah, we would have been level with them. Not sure what the... Oh, shit. Whoops. Let's go back, have a look at that. What was the four and against? Manly, minus 32. So we... Okay, we would have been well ahead. We've been dropping teams left, right, and center. Lately, Nathan Pete's in first spot. Wow. Roger Jennings. Terry Spoyd. Where's our top guy? Heat's far down. We're a, we're a team. We're a team. We're not individual players. Seriously, where are... Oh, Casiano's right up there. Well, not really up there, but he's our top player. That's a little bit weird. Croker, also up there. Yeah, that is a, a strange one, I'd have to say. But yeah, I think we're, I'll just quickly show Lola here. And, um, oh, no. Oh, seven days. Okay, that's right. Um, we can cover that. Easy, guys. Baptiste, good player. Um, and so here's our ratings for our players. Jack White and dropped down 78 before, but he's up again. Kroger becoming an elite center. Carter keeps going up. Um, where is he? Edric Lee doing quite well. Boyd's doing okay. Cassiano's doing alright. Cartwright. Saliola's just back from injury, but uh, yeah, great stuff there. Anyways, this is where the video is going to end. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you can leave a like, be very much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT, and I'll see you next time. Bye.